What's going on guys? It's the WWE fan guy coming at you with another video today. And um we're, I'm gonna talk about um early WrestleMania. Not early, well there's not predictions for WrestleMania. There's more like of a um, dream card of what would be awesome if these two um if these two matchups will ever happen. But you know, very unlikely. That's why it's called uh WrestleMania thirty five dream match card. So yeah. Since uh, WrestleMania 34 is over, I wanted to just make a WrestleMania 35 dream match card. And yeah, starting with number one, will be John Cena versus Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor is a, a polarizing UFC fighter, probably um, the best, the pop, probably the most, uh, you know, the best uh, uh, UFC fighter in a long time. Especially how charismatic he is. No one has ever seen a character like Conor McGregor. And then John Cena, what you say? What can you say about him? An icon, a 16-time world champion, and you know the face of the company for a long time. And these two polarizing characters ever met up, it would have been it would be a dream match come true, and something that a lot of people would like to see, like myself. And yeah, I think that would be cool for WrestleMania 35. And you know. And being realistic, I don't know if it, if it would have happened. I don't know. Very unlikely, but it would be awesome. You just never know until we get to WrestleMania 35. So, yeah, that's number one. And then next one. This one can be very likely. Uh, WrestleMania 35, which is Triple H versus Shane McMahon. This would probably be uh, whoever wins, uh, you know, whoever loses, I mean, gets fired from WWE, I guess, if they want to do that kind of storyline, you know. Um... I just think, um, you know, these guys pretty much in, in the end of the road and, you know, very, you know, pretty much both of them don't have that much left to wrestle, you know, since Triple H is on 50 and Shaman Mackin is on pretty close to 52. And I just think, uh, you know, these two these two, um, two guys going at it, you know, they're not, you know, uh, you know, Triple H is a former wrestler, you know, Shaman Mackin wrestles some, once in a while. When he does, he always puts on a great show or does some crazy move. I would just like to see this matchup, but, you know, if it's WrestleMania 35 or who knows. Or at uh, any of these uh, or at the Royal Rumble, that would be cool to see. And or, you know, somewhere, you know, somewhere big like Survivor Series would be a good one, too, around November. And, yeah, I just think um, it would be cool to see these two match up together. Uh, for against for Triple H for Shaman Man, and then this one could be very. It's not very unlikely. This was one could be very likely at WrestleMania 35, which is Roman Reigns versus Goldberg at WrestleMania 35 in New York. You know, uh, Goldberg did tease a little bit uh, of, you know, of Roman Reigns at Hall of Fame that for him stealing his move, and and you know. And Goldberg never ruled out that he was going to retire and that he wasn't going to return. Uh, you know, you got to remember, um, before he left, he's like, no matter what, you know, um, the next time, um, you know, no matter what, he says something like that, and that's, um, he doesn't know who's going to be next. Anybody could, ne could be next, that's what he said, I think, yeah. So, yeah, I just think, uh, you know, Roman Reigns versus Goldberg would be pretty good, I think. Um, you know, even though Gobert don't have a lot of left in him, um, uh, I just think Roman Reigns, um, uh, would be a perfect component since they're both limited to moves, you know, they're both limited in, uh, um, uh, you know, talent in ring, in the ring, you know, I just think they would probably deliver as the build up more than the match itself. And yeah, I think it would be a good match. Who knows? Um. Yeah, I can see that happening at WrestleMania 35. That one, that this out of all of those, I think this one could be very likely also. Um, but yeah, that's one of them. And then WrestleMania 35, uh, we got uh, for the women's. I don't know. If it's, I don't know if it will be for the SmackDown. Who knows? Um, uh, women's Championship, Oscar um, versus Ronda Rousey. This one's very likely too. That can happen. You know, since Asuka is not uh, undefeated no more, it won't be for, for the streak, but it'll still be a good match because these are two uh, great uh, 
wrestlers, great women wrestlers, especially how Ronda Rousey performed at WrestleMania. She proved that she, uh, you know, that she could uh, be, uh, you know, that she could be a wrestler. And uh, even though she has a lot still to prove, I just think by the time she gets to WrestleMania 35, she'll be more improved and, and you know, she'll be ready for Asuka. And yeah, I would just like to see this matchup at WrestleMania 35, uh, you know, against these two. It'll be a great matchup and it'll be a lot of build up and hype up for this match. And I think it will deliver, in my opinion. So yeah, Asuka versus Ronda Rousey, that'd be a good one. And then the next one, we got Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss. I don't know if it'll be for the belt, but it'll be another epic one since Becky Lynch needs a big push. Alexa Bliss uh, already has a lot of uh, accolades that she can hang up, and she's already building her legacy as one of the best women wrestlers of all time. And yeah, I just think this will be a good matchup for WrestleMania 35 to renew their rivalry and... Uh, I just think um, it'll be awesome to see these two go at it again at WrestleMania 35 as a dream match, in my opinion. I think I think it's a dream match, in my opinion. I think it will. I think it's a great match between these two again to renew the rivalry and, and fight at WrestleMania 35. The next one will be. Uh, and then I don't know if it'll be for the Intercontinental Championship, but um, I can see the Miz retaining that championship with sometime this, um, sometime around WrestleMania 35 time. Probably around next year time, or probably early next year around February or January. Um, this will be another great matchup. You know, um, the Miz has proved a lot that why he's the best in the Continental Champions of all time, and um, he's building his legacy as one of the uh, best wrestlers of all time. As as a Randy Orton, he's already summoned to himself as the best, as one of the best legends of all time. Um, just as just to uh, for this matchup, you know, you would think uh, a while ago that these that Randy Orton going against the Miz wouldn't be a big matchup because the Miz credentials and you know not taking the Miz very serious and you know, but as of now, you can pretty much put these two in a matchup because the Miz is pretty much like a legend now in a in a way, and he's building his resume as one of the best Intercon champions of all time, if not the best Intercon champion of all time, and yeah, it'll be a great matchup and it'll be. And and by the time uh, it will hit WrestleMania 35, I think it will be a dream matchup, in my opinion. Dream match. Uh, been a dream matchup card. So, yeah. The Miz versus Randy Orton will be a good one also at WrestleMania 35. And then the next one, we got the Icon versus the Fina. Uh, um, Sting versus Undertaker. Sting versus the Undertaker is very, very unlikely. But, you know, a lot of people would like to see this, you know. Especially um, since Sting said... That he is very optimistic on coming back. And, you know, as the Undertaker, you know, he beat uh, John Cena, uh, which was a very squash match. Um, he pretty much uh, telling everybody that he's not done yet. And I don't know if he's going to go against John Cena. That could be very likely also, uh, you know, since John Cena probably has unfinished business with the Undertaker. But then again, uh, Sting has never faced the Undertaker. And that's like a dream matchup that everybody would like to see. And yeah, I just think at WrestleMania 35 would be a perfect opportunity to, for WWE to capitalize on this dream match. And it would be very fantastic to see. And it would be a freaking, it would be a dream come true. And you know, something that would probably tear the roof down as hype up wise. I don't know about match wise since they're both pretty much uh, in the end of their career. And you know, but yeah, uh, anyway, uh, this would be an awesome match to uh, see. The next one, last but not least, I mean, uh, and this one will probably be for a belt. I don't know if it'll be for the Universal Championship or for the WWE Championship, but it will be for some, what some one of those one of those titles. It will be Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles is a dream match come true. This one's a very, very, very likely matchup that can happen at WrestleMania 35. Wouldn't be surprised if it did happen, and uh, it can, and it probably is probably gonna happen at WrestleMania 35. Which uh, these two guys, these two great in-ring talents, going at it to prove who's the best in WWE, and yeah, they both both have a lot to prove in the ring and i think it will deliver as hype up wise and i think it'll deliver in in ring wise and this is a dream matchup come true and a lot of people like to see like myself 
this is probably going to be the most anticipated match at WrestleMania 35 for a lot of people like myself. And something, you know, is a dream match. It's a dream match. Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. And uh, a lot of them, uh, I would like to see this. And it would be awesome to for it to call me at WrestleMania 35. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, these are just uh, these are my WrestleMania 35 dream match uh, card predictions. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of my dream match, uh, my, my WrestleMania 35 dream match card and predictions. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for uh, you know. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, guys, the WWE fan guy signing out. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks again. Bye.